Hi there, welcome to Imran Kitchen and thanks for you guys watching my channel and thank you for your time. And today's recipe is chicken achari. Achari means is pickle. It's called pickle chicken in English. We call achari chicken. So this is 100 gram, sorry, this is 1 kg chicken with bone. If you want, you can make with the uh, boneless chicken. So there is a sum of with bone and and 50 percent is already boneless so anyway this is all mix of the one whole chicken so first we'll go for marination so first marination will do we'll put some yogurt first we'll put some chili like a hot chili one teaspoon and we'll put some salt This is like a quarter teaspoon salt and we'll mix it and also we'll put the six tablespoon yogurt we have to beat it first then after that we'll put in the uh, chicken so now we'll mix it Today we are going to make like a two recipe in one. Today I am going to show you how to make the achari chicken and also I will I'll show you how to make the achari masala also. So we will leave it for 15 minutes and meantime we will make the <coughs> spices for the chicken achari. So this is the spice for the achar mix. If you make any kind of like a pickles, onion pickles or mango pickles or even beef uh, beef uh, beef pickle beef achar goes chicken achar goes this is the measurement of the spices this is whole spices this is like a two table two teaspoon fennel seeds and one teaspoon coriander seeds and half teaspoon black pepper whole and one teaspoon cumin seeds and one teaspoon chili crush and also we need a clonji this is clonji we call clonji this is onion seeds black one and also this is fenugreek seeds like a methi seeds and this is uh, this is half teaspoon and this is half teaspoon and this is mustard seeds one teaspoon and also we need the turmeric powder and we need some citric acid this is like a tartary this is for the sourness so first we'll need to little bit saute all the spices mostly fennel seeds cumin seeds coriander seeds and black pepper hole and chili uh, chili flakes we need to little bit uh, roast it then after the one you feel flavor is coming out you can feel it's like a roasting flavor you don't have to cook too much it will be become a very dark when you cook it will be very dark so that's why when you feel like a roasting flavor then you have to stop it so this is already roasted so I have to turn off the gas and I will try to take it off from the pan so this is already roasted now I have to put in the this ball so I have to add other masala also so we don't have to crush the methi seeds and the kalonji because if you uh, blend it it will be like a little bit bitter so that's why you don't uh, crush it we need to crush these spices which is I already fry roasted You don't have to grind completely like a very fine grind, little bit rough. 
so you can see it look like a it's not too too much uh, order this is a little bit crush so now we'll put the all the spices in the bowl then after that we'll add the we need to crush the little bit mustard seed also not much so this is the step of the making the achar masala some of the spices we don't have to roast it like a fenugreek seeds and the mustard seeds and also onion seeds kolonji so now we'll mix we'll put the kolonji whole kolonji and whole methi seeds and also we'll put some tartaric like a citric acid for sourness and so also we so also add the 1 teaspoon salt and 1 teaspoon turmeric powder and also half teaspoon garam masala so we need to mix it this is the basic uh, masala for the pickle chicken pickle beef or any kind of we were making pickle like a mango pickle we are adding this masala this is ready so now we will start the cooking process for any kind of achari gosh achari chicken so we need to some chili this is very traditional style so you need to cut it in the inside and also if you have it, if you see too much seeds you can take it off so we will fill up with some achari masala inside the you can use any kind of chili like a hot chili I got finally today this one I just went to the shopping uh, this is like african chili you can see so I already turned on the heat on medium heat and already is already preheated so now first we need to we are using the mustard oil because for achari goes mustard oil I prefer mustard oil is better so I need to tell you how is mustard oil need to warm up you need to because mustard oil is very strong flavor so you need to kill the flavor you need to cook for on a high flame cook for 1 2 minute you can see feel this oil is like a high heat and you can feel some steams coming out and after that you can feel the strong flavor is become a cool down that time you need to start the cooking this is the main uh, method of the you need to hot enough for this oil and wait for 1 2 minutes after that you can see strong flavor is gone then you can start the cooking then after that you don't feel any like a, a raw flavor mustard so first we'll put the this is 1 200 g one onion already puree and also we'll cook fast onion flame should be now high if you don't like mustard oil you can use any other vegetable oil no problem so you need to cook like a 3 4 minute and after that we'll put the tomato puree this is all fresh tomato and this is fresh tomato puree so onion puree has been cooking for the last 5 minutes is almost cooked so now we have to add the this is 200 g one large tomato puree so you need to cook another 5 minutes for tomato so tomato puree and onion puree is already cooked for last 10 minutes is well cooked So now time to put the two tablespoon ginger garlic paste. So one thing I let you know when you grind the make the puree for tomato, tomato especially tomato is soft. You don't have to add the water. And when uh, onion, if you try without water, if you can make the puree is will be best. Otherwise you can add like one 
teaspoon, two teaspoon water, not more than that. So, two tablespoon ginger, I already put it there. I have to cook another two, three minutes for ginger garlic paste. And after that, I will go for the final process. We'll add the chicken, then we'll add some spices. So now we have to put the flame on high to medium, right now in medium. So now we have to add the chicken. So we have to mix it. So now we'll add the one tablespoon Kashmiri chili powder. This is for the color. It will give you the nice color end of the finishing touch. You can see the difference, the color. So we will cook for another 10 minutes and meantime on, a, on medium heat. Meantime you have to stir it after 2-3 minutes later. You have to stir it and we will cover it and see you after 10 minutes. So chicken has been cooking in the on in medium heat for the last 10 minutes. You can see now how it look like. It's, it's look like a is already half done. So now you can see there is enough water because I didn't add any water. So tomato puree and onion puree has lots of water. If you feel it's too dry, then you can add little bit water. Otherwise, I didn't add any water. Is good enough. So now time to put the, the char masala. So we need to mix it. So we need to cook another 9 to 10 minutes. And meantime, you have to check if it's too dry. Then you have to add little bit water. If you cook without water, it will give you the uh, good result. If you don't want, like if it's too dry, getting too dry, then you can little bit uh, put the temperature down low. Then it will be you don't need any water. So I'll put the right now. In this stage, there is enough water. So I'll put the flame on medium. So we'll cook for another 10 minutes and after that it will be ready. So chicken has been cooking for the last all together 20 to 22 minutes depend on the uh, chicken size. So I already checked the chicken is already cooked so now time to put the chili. All you can change the any spice salt and spice uh, hot chili. If you don't like too hot chili, too hot or too salty, you can just cut down the spice and salt. The uh, rest of the spice will be same and we'll mix it little bit. So now we'll close it, close the lid and we'll turn off the gas. We'll leave it for 5 to 7 minutes and after that it will be ready to serve. And thank you for watching Imran Kitchen and see you on next interesting video.